Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you a long overdue update on my journey with severe gum disease. I know a lot of you have been asking about it for a while and a lot of you are eager to know what's been going on, especially because so many of you are suffering with the same condition. And it's astonishing to me that so many people are suffering with it. My periodontist did tell me it's a silent disease. So most people who have it don't know they have it. And I was one of those people. I never would have guessed that I had severe gum disease. So if you didn't see that first video, then I'm gonna link that above. You can just check that out. It'll catch you up to speed on my journey. And for those of you who have seen it and you're here for the update, well, here we go. <laughs> so I'm very lucky I didn't go through any sort of gum grafting or anything like that. I literally only had a couple treatments of root planing and scaling. My last one not too long ago, which looked a lot like this, <laughs> was really promising. I was super happy to hear that a lot of my pockets that were at nine, and nine is bad. Nine is on the brink of losing your teeth. So nine pockets, yeah, you don't want that. But those same pockets that were at nine had closed to about threes, a couple of them fours, which means, you know, I still have work to be done, um, but I'm very lucky with the amount of bone loss that I have that none of my teeth are loose and I didn't have to lose any. I definitely have gaps in my teeth where I have bone loss. So particularly on the bottom, you know, right in here, there are holes. Here on the side, there is there too, and there's some in the back. I'm lucky, I think the way my lips sit, nobody really notices them. I notice them, especially on the top, especially in my videos, I can see this one. But for the most part on the bottom, nobody notices those ones. I'm very grateful about that. The one thing my periodontist mentioned to me that he would like to try at my next appointment is injecting some proteins into the spots where I have bone loss. That's showing some promising results, I guess, in maybe rebuilding that bone. Obviously, I know a lot of you have expressed to me, what about the cost and do I have insurance? Well, I have no insurance, so it is very expensive. Unfortunately, it really is. On the other hand, yeah, it means you're gonna have to invest in your health because to me, it's an investment. And if it means a better quality of life and better health, I will 100% do everything I need to do to get these treatments taken care of. I know my life has drastically transformed for the better since getting this taken care of. Someone else had asked me, touching on that, did it reduce brain fog and fatigue? I had never actually put those two together or even thought about it. But for a few years before I got my treatments, I was getting severe fatigue in the afternoons, really foggy every afternoon. It was terrible. I really like couldn't get rid of it. And I was, you know, cleansing and doing all these things. And it makes so much sense now that, yeah, I truly believe that these treatments got rid of that because I haven't suffered from it since. And I really didn't think about it. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm like, guaranteed it helped because I've never suffered from either of those conditions since then. I've only felt more energized, clarity of mind, and obviously my gums are no longer bleeding. I've had zero problems with any sort of gum bleeding or any sort of gum discomfort. My gums feel great. They feel really great. Um, so the treatments have immensely helped me. However, it's also the things that I'm doing outside of the treatments because remember, our minds are so powerful and our bodies are so capable of healing. I would never just solely rely on getting root planing and scaling ever because that's one thing, okay, that removes it, but now you have to do things to keep it that way and to keep all that plaque out of there and to keep healthy bacteria in your mouth so that bad bacteria can't overgrow and then harden turning into plaque. But part of my everyday routine consists of using a really amazing toothpaste. Now I only use USANA and USANA's toothpaste has a postbiotic in it so it actually helps feed that healthy bacteria in your mouth and I love their toothpaste. It's all totally natural and it has essential oils and even stevia to sweeten it so it's super natural, has amazing ingredients. This toothpaste literally also transformed my mouth because with it I mean, my gums feel phenomenal. So I highly recommend the use on a toothpaste. Also, I do the obvious things of flossing. I use the interdet brush to get in between my teeth better because I don't feel that floss fully gets it as clean as it needs to be. So I do use my little interdent toothbrushes and I dip them in a little bit of my toothpaste and then I go between the teeth. Now I have to use bigger ones for the teeth that have bigger gaps in them. And then I use smaller ones 
for the teeth that are still luckily healthy with all the bone and you know has to get in those tighter spaces another thing that i found that i really love is using a food grade hydrogen peroxide using the peroxide is super simple i just fill my water pick about a quarter of the way full with it and then i top it off with some water after that i hold it close to my gum line so i can really clean out between my teeth and after i'm finished that i rinse my mouth with some water Sometimes if I don't feel like using my water pick, I'll mix the food grade hydrogen peroxide with water and then gargle and swish around my mouth and then spit it out. I've found that's helped so much to keep that plaque down and all the bad bacteria out of my mouth. I also love oil pulling. I like to do it every morning upon waking up, but some mornings I just don't have it in me. But most mornings I just wake up and I take a spoon of coconut oil and I swish it around my mouth for 10 to 20 minutes. It's the first thing I do. So while I'm getting things going and you know, getting my coffee on and all this, I'm doing my oil pulling. And after my oil pulling, I then spit it into the garbage. It's very important to spit it into the garbage. You don't want to clog your pipes with oil. And then I brush and get it all out. You want to make sure because it's pulling bad bacteria to your mouth. So you want to brush your mouth right after. In the evening, I use the USADA oral probiotic because that's really gonna help kill any bad bacteria and help feed the good bacteria. I swish that around before bed in the evening after I've done my whole evening routine and that is how I end my day. The last couple of things that are super important to me is having a healthy gut because our gut and our mouth are so connected. So if you're not feeding your gut good bacteria, then that kind of stuff can also cause decay in your mouth. I'm really adamant about eating high quality whole foods. I take probiotics, I take prebiotics. I really nourish my gut and my gut lining to make sure that it can stay really healthy because in turn, that's gonna keep my mouth healthy because they are so connected. And I also take a very good multivitamin. Making sure I have enough nutrients in my body is so important. I take a USANA multivitamin every day. I love the health pack. They also have the cell essential technology, so it works on a cellular level. So it actually like helps your cells restore, renew communication, and really nourishes your body specifically for what your body needs. That's everything I do that to me these things are the most important and let's not forget the number one most important thing is your mind because your mind is so powerful our bodies are so capable of healing especially if we help it and do things to help enable it to do what it was built to do and which is heal I feel like there's nothing your body can't do so by keeping a strong healthy mind and thinking healing thoughts that's gonna make your body also progressively heal better. It does take time. The damage that we put into our bodies didn't go in there overnight. It took years of buildup to get to the point of having severe periodontal disease. So it's gonna take some time to bring it all out of your body, but you can definitely do it. And the only thing that the treatments did for me with the periodontist is A, well diagnose it properly and B, help me speed up my healing process by getting the plaque out and then I could start doing my own natural things at home. So that's something to remember. I wouldn't worry so much about how far gone it is and how far it's progressed. I know some of you have told me you're losing teeth and you are getting gum grafting, all of this kind of stuff. Just pick up exactly where you are now. Do what you need to do to get better, but keep your mind strong and start implementing changes into your lifestyle to help your body heal so that it doesn't get worse. And don't worry, the best part is, is that we're still alive and so we can take these steps to have a better quality life and a healthier life. And yeah, so this is where I'm at. I will be going soon for another checkup, potentially a root planning and scaling if I need it. I am going to get those protein injections into the bone where I have the bone loss and we'll see what happens from there. But so far so good and I'm so grateful that my body has been such an amazing healing tool for me during this journey. <laughs> anyway guys, if you're dealing with gum disease or anything along these lines, I would love to hear your progress. I'd love to hear things you've tried that have worked for you. Just, I would love to hear more about it. And definitely if you have any questions for me, drop them in the comments below. I would be more than happy to share with you everything I do. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.